What is up guys, this is Astrox. Let's showcase Alicia some more in Arena PvP. Let me just show you her gear real quick. So I have speed boots on her. More speed, I have Durandal, so potential to uh, cut in, you know, before another damage dealer goes or something like that. Or, I mean, she can just cycle through her skill, uh, skills faster, so that's good. Okay, that's the gear here, that's the stats, and I would like more effectiveness for her, but, you know, gotta go, gotta use what I got. And I, I could stick like an effectiveness uh, percentage main stats ring, let's say, but for the counter set, I don't have that. I don't have that. I could swap her on a speed set later on, but I'm enjoying her on counter for PvE as a Manakhan Banshee. And I did showcase her uh, in all uh, in both of those and also in Golem 11. I did an arena video already. If you still haven't seen it, you can check that out. And well, let's proceed with... Uh, some gameplay here, and I'll bring maybe Seaside Bellona. That's her stats. Champion Zerato. Uh, yeah, probably is gonna have an appearance. I'm skilling up Charles because, well, he's OP. And uh, Martial Artist Ken, of course. Uh, he's gonna be part of the first battle. Maybe in a few battles. You know, he's so good. He's so good. Now, who else? Who else? Is gonna be in this one. We got Fallen Cecilia and Desert Jewel Bazaar. Now that what May Chloe? Yes, May Chloe, but not early on. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's go, baby. Let's go. And I'm gonna be attacking teams. You can see that this is on the Europe server. This is my third account and uh, Alencia is showing up. You know, on some defenses. Right now, like my defense actually using Alencia because I wanted to test that out. So I'm running this, you know, so she she deals damage, you know, crit crit damage. She's built as a bruiser. Um, and, uh, well, it's her and martial artist Ken and they, uh, with Fallen Sicilian uh, DJ Bazaar as support. Seems to be uh, working all right. Champion Zerato instead of uh, Alencia is what I've been running before. And instead of DJ Bazaar, I had... Uh, I had uh, May Chloe. Okay, so let's do it up here. I'll do some RTA. I gotta climb in RTA uh, in another video. So let's attack player number one. We got May Chloe there. We got Fallen Cecilia. So should be pretty good. By the way, in PvP, you don't need to stick whoever has counter. Whoever it's not a, like PVE. Uh, they don't have 40% chance to attack the front liner. Doesn't work in PvP. Because someone told me in the comment section, like, why you don't put her in the front line? Well, it only works in PvE, unfortunately. I mean, it would be too good. It would be too good if it worked in here as well. So, now, DJ Bazaar, he didn't get pushed back. He did put, get pushed back, but not... He didn't mess up the whole rotation here. It's okay. He's still going first. Assuming he, uh, I survive here. Which is the case. Okay. Oh god. The worst is when Bazaar has... Oh, no! So she goes first, and that messed up the whole thing. That messed up the whole thing. Now, I don't have defense buff. Ah. Ah. I'll have it for her. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it because there's Mind's Eye, and... They have too many buffs. They have too many buffs. And that's what happens. That's what happens when you don't have that much effectiveness. Okay. We can follow up with uh, skill nullifier here. So I'd like to, t uh, to try her basically with Krause gear. So speed set with uh, an immunity set. And... Yeah, speed boost, high effectiveness. He's got a speed uh, main stat ring. Uh, speed effectiveness, you know, main stat ring. So uh, close to 100% effectiveness plus the mind's eye. So like close to 130% effectiveness. Pretty solid. So here, let's just... Uh, well, they have... Ah, let's not... Let's not do it. Kill Nullifier. Let's not Soul Burn. 
Look at that barrier, man, on Seaside Bellona. My god. Okay, well, we don't have Mind's Eye, so we're not gonna have the second attack. By the way, you if you have a counter set or if you trigger like a dual attack, you cannot uh, you cannot use Trample. You, you will not trigger Trample with skill 1, even if you have Mind's Eye already or if you just got it on the, the you know, uh, on that turn. So that's yeah, that, that's unfortunate, but still, she's doing just fine, she's doing just fine. Definitely can be used in multiple areas of the game, and that's like super cool. Definitely uh, worthy of being invested into. Okay, it's not going so well. It's not going so well, we still have May Chloe to deal with. There's still the buff on her. It's okay, it's okay, let's just take out Seaside Bellona and see what happens. Take out some of these uh, threats. Now here, let's heal, man. Let's let's just heal. Who's going next? It's her, so let's potentially. Well, it, it's gonna attack everyone. So I could have landed a, a team-wide stun there if, well, if the luck was crazy. Of course, no crit there. War's origin. I'm gonna need to land defense break on May Chloe to pop her and land a crit with ML Ken. Oh, nice dual attack there. As long as we can sustain this. Oh, the counter! Come on, do it, crit! Yes. Okay, she's got she got lowered. That that that's kind of perfect. That's kind of perfect. And and the bazaar is out. Now, now, we gotta take her out. Oh boy, that's what happens. That's what happens when you have one dark. Well, the Fallen Cecilia is out, but like they're gonna attack ML Ken. They're gonna attack ML Ken if they're light. And yeah, you got, I got lucky with the counters though. It did uh, shorten the fight for sure there, definitely. So, hmm. Because if I go against Alencia, like, they're gonna mess up my buffs as well, or I'm gonna have to delay. I'm gonna have to delay using her S, uh, well, DJ Bazaar's S3. But then I'm gonna be loaded with debuffs. It's not gonna go too well. It's not gonna go too well. Uh, Bloodblade Karen is super deadly. Her damage is ridiculous. She's got sustain. And with uh, Moonlight Dreamblade, it's pretty cancerous. Uh, the last Bloodblade Karen triggered Moonlight Dreamblade every single time I attacked her uh, at the start. Like, it, like five attacks and she triggered Moonlight Dreamblade on all five. Like, are you kidding me? That, that, that was just insane. Just insane and... Uh, I don't want to attack one again with uh, Moonlight Dreamblade anytime soon, but it's gonna happen in uh, RTA unless unless I just banner unless I just banner. Okay, so who's next here? Let's uh, let's see if I can cut in. Arbiter Village is just he deals way too much damage. That's the problem. Like, but I, you know what? It's it's the team that I'm running on my defense, so the thing is you can just go with that team on offense and just try to find some weaknesses or just, I mean, you you would kind of need to turn on auto for that, but I mean, if you do manual and it, do, it goes for fairly well, then yeah, the, you're basically testing your defense, seeing if you might want to like swap some gear around. But I definitely want more effectiveness on Alencia. But like I said, it's going to have to wait until I switch to a speed set instead of uh, counter HP. But uh, counter, because I need to test her in uh, more areas of the game, like in PvE. That's why I can't do it. That's why I can't do it just yet. Oh, he's about to go. He's, uh, he's about to go and uh, I think we can cut in here with Fallen. With Fawn CC, but it doesn't even matter. Are you prepared for this? Yeah, Seaside. Seaside is just gonna counter this. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do I just... Let, let's get defense buff. I mean, she's gonna counter. Who cares? Defense buff is too good. It's too much mitigation. It, it's amazing. 60% defense increase. Like, look how much damage I'll be taking here. Like, when you get this thing running, it, like, it's crazy. It's so good. It's so good. And now, against Arbor of Vildred, it's great because, I mean, you gotta deal with double uh, S3. Look at that. It, it still deals a lot of damage, but resist. It allowed me to just take all that damage. Even, even like the Sergio Bazaar, he, he's pretty squishy. His, uh, his base stats are, my god, terrible. They're terrible. It, it, same as Tamarine. But I have a proof of valor artifact on him because it's just so bad. Uh, like I need, I need it. Oh, it's, well, she's stunned, but still, as soon as she's out of the stun, she's gonna start counter-attacking with S2, so let's just take her out. So with the trample, with the defense down, it dealt quite a bit of damage. Now we'll be done with this battle shortly. Look at these. These Durandal procs, man. I love that. I love that. If you don't have that much sustain on your team, she's gonna be uh, staying below you know, 75% HP, well, at 75 or below, then you'll be triggering some Durandals. And every time Seaside Bellona uses her skill to passive, you know, it's gonna hit uh, your Alencia. Well, whoever is wearing Durandal, and you're getting that combat trueness, allowing you to go more often, and which in turn, like, increases your uh, uptime on defense buff. Uh, you can dispel more often. You can have more uptime on defense break as well it's really powerful really powerful so here let's see the damage of team four is ridiculous they have attack buff with blood blade care i'm not going in there i'm not gonna go in there so out of these double reviver on five plus moonlight and Assassin Cartuja, man, the passive for the evasion. It's just so dangerous. There's that risk, you know, that that's there's something that makes a good defense is that chance that it's gonna go wrong and uh, players are like, I'm not gonna attack because it might just happen. And then it does. And then yeah. You know what? I kinda wanna test the Durandal. Maybe. Maybe I'm able to cut in here. Maybe I'm able to cut in. The problem is Lilius can push back my Alencia on top of Bazaar pushing her back. I have, I don't have immunity set, but even if I did have it, it doesn't matter. He's going to be stripping here. Then Lilius goes and like she could push some heroes back. So it might mess up the turn order. Yeah, like you saw that? Now Alencia is going first. Ah, oh, Alencia is going first, and it, I couldn't. I I just couldn't. They're gonna use everything now, and oh boy, that was close. ML can, but rip. He's out. Look at that. Now the turn order has been broken and I gotta deal with that. I gotta deal with that and unable to be buff debuff so I can't even get the defense buff going. This is terrible. This is so bad. Okay, let's... Uh, I don't want to AoE attack. I don't want to AoE attack and I'd like to... At least Bazaar is gonna be out of the picture. Oh, she she wasn't getting any focus on on that one because she just countered. Okay, well, can we come back from this? This is like with Lilius triggering dual attack. 
Can we even come back from this? We need that defense buff. Maybe a stun here. That stun would be great. Come on. Ah, uh, no. Here it goes. The skill nullifier. Oh, it's good that Fawn and Cecilia is the one being attacked. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. The door attack there. Nice. Okay. It's all good now. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, it ain't over till it's over. Okay, let's see who's next. Like I said, player four is just too much burst. It's too much burst. With the attack buff, it's gonna be crazy. I mean, I, I could try to bring this. You know, I, I fought this player before, it's just too much. Let's try, there's player number two here. A lot of debuffs, uh, a lot of buffs, sorry. Uh, player one as well. Let's start with two and even like player five. Man, there's so many buffs there. Let's do like two, five, one. I do have five more flags. We'll see how fast it goes. Maybe I try to clear the list. That's the problem. I need immunity set on uh, Alencia, but I've got her. Ah, uh, I've got her set up so. Got her set up for PVE, and I I have immunity sets on so many different heroes. I don't have an infinite amount of immunity sets. That's the that's the problem. That's the problem. But I have DJ Bazaar, so it's okay and. I am definitely showcasing him a lot in the in this video. I'll be uh yeah the comp I could definitely change that up. Man, now with Alencia getting pushed back, it's. Really mess things up. I can't do anything now. Can't do anything for well my first turn. Actually, oh, she she went. She went, so that's perfect. Let's see what happens here. Is that gonna be enough effectiveness? Is it? Oh the perfect the perfect dispel. Nice. Nice, okay. Let's bring, do some damage here. Bring the pain train. No, it's not that much, but I mean, he, he's built with crit damage, not with 100% crit chance. So that's what happens. Okay, uh, let's try to stun Seaside because she's annoying. Never mind. Alencia is going to be triggering Durandal soon enough. Uh, here we go. Here we go. So, Seaside's going next. There, there's Mind's Eye. Let's uh, let's do it. Come on. Oh, got it. Is Trapo enough? Ah, with a 30% redirect. Yes. No, no counter attack. No stop from ML Ket on that time now. Okay. Uh, uh, it's pretty tanky setup right there. Pretty tanky setup. We might have to go through two passes here. Might have to do that. Let's just work straight off on... Uh, let's just work. Grind that maid, Chloe. Let's just try to grind her down. Water's Origin is going to be helping her cycle her stuff. Well, her skill three. Just, oh my god, I love this! I love when this happens. Yo, like just, just let's say a counter triggers on Alencia and then ML Ken counters uh, 
after her and then she applies defense down. Oh man, let's just turn on auto on that. That is crazy. That was a crazy dual attack. Yeah, I definitely wanted a uh, Earth Bruiser. Like that, that's crazy. With defense down, this allows me to do things like that. I don't have to worry about survival. And there's always that potential defense break. But that's the, not the only thing. I mean, there's that defense buff. There's there's that uh, team-wide dispel. It, it's pretty crazy. Her multipliers, of course, they're not high. But when you land that defense break and you got that trample that, that, that follows, you know, that uh, that combos, that connects, then it, it's, it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Even if you're not built with crazy crit damage, let's say. I have a decent amount of HP, like 19k, it's because I went with speed boots. If I had health percentage boots, it'd be in the 23k, I believe, something like that. But I prefer to go more often. Look at that sustain here. Yeah, it's okay. She didn't do much damage, but her utilities, though, they were quite helpful. Let's go uh, player 5. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't change the comp yet. But there's Charles in here. There's Charles. I can't bring Seaside Bellona. Can't bring Seaside Bellona if I... I mean, I could bring Champion Zerato, but we don't. We wouldn't have DJ Bazaar. Now, this is messed up here. That's messed up. Let's try for the stun on Seaside. Okay. Gotta wait. I mean, if I just use S3, it's gonna... It's not gonna work too well. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Needed some water. Let's see here. Man, there's... There's that decreased hit chance. That stupid decrease hit chance on her is going to mess up the whole thing. Look at this. Look at this. There's a counter that will follow. There's the, uh, an able to be buff debuff on Bazaar and ML can. Still, I have to go for it. Oh, God. Let's see it. Uh, Yeah, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Seaside could have uh, kept her buffs. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ah, uh, no defense down. That would have been beautiful. You see? She counters first, and then she'd be dead. She would have been deleted there. Oh, God. You see what happens? See what happens? DJ Bazaar was faster than their Bazaar. I, I tried to not give him too much speed. But still... Now, look at that. Like, oh, it's really unfortunate. Let's just, uh, let's one her. That means that I can't sustain here with him because I have to use S3. Uh, Maybe I need to lower her sp his speed, but usually it's okay. Usually it's okay. Now, she can be out of the picture. Uh, the thing is, I believe the leech on this skill even works if, uh, yeah, it, it should work even if they are uh, immortal, invincible. Yeah, you saw how much it gave. Man, she is still alive. Gotta take her out. Ah, you should have attacked Crimson Armin. And again, you see, like, it could have been a defense break if there was no uh, debuff immunity. Rip Bazaar. There he goes. At least his buff is up. At least. Now, what? Elbrus? El uh, con like a constant stream of Elbrus triggers. Here we go. Yeah, S2 now. Just OP Charles. 
OP Charles. He's got debuff immunity. Don't have Mind's Eye. Crimson Armin. Uh, ML Ken's going after. ML Ken can take Crimson Armin out. But he could also counter attack her. Maybe I, I don't think I can take out Bazaar. Yeah, whatever, I'll try. Oh god, really? S2 again? Okay, thank you. Let's just take out Kirsten Armin now. Oh man. That was a lot of damage. And Charles! Wow! This is Mind's Eye. <clears throat> it's Mind's Eye, so... Yo, I'm doing it. Is Bazaar gonna use... Oh, he's gonna use S3. He's gonna use that, so... I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. Let's, uh... It should kill him without the soul burn. It should do it. That's it. Can just save it for Charles. Assuming I survive, okay. But I didn't have the mind's eye. But it's okay, I just want the defense break so I can do this. Okay, well, bad start, but still managed to pull it off. Let's get some flags here. Gotta speed this up. Five flags. Okay, um. Debuff. Hmm. That's the thing. It looks like I'm gonna be sticking with this team. Looks like I'm, I'm gonna be sticking with this team. Can I even clear this list? Maybe? Let's start with this one, it's gonna be faster than one. I think. Because I'm testing my defense, I'm testing my defense. So... Probably roll with this group. We, we've seen we've seen plenty of Seaside Bellona and Seaside Bellona she's on the opposite team anyways most of the time or well always so I guess uh, she doesn't need to be showcased champion Zerato I did a lot of video with him can check those out if you uh, if you want to see his performance okay well let's just do it up there's no bazaar. Are you prepared for this? Bazaar is really, really annoying. But it's okay. I mean, I do have DJ Bazaar, so I can counter him. But if he's too slow, you saw what happened. You saw what happened. I have Mind's Eye, I can take out, well, not really. She's gonna come back to life. But, but that's not bad. That's not bad, let's just do it. Got her S3 uh, on cooldown, so it's okay. I can just use it later with this, uh, <coughs> this VIP treatment. Yeah, this is gonna hurt though. Oh, this is gonna hurt real bad. Uh, never mind. 10.6k HP. It wasn't so bad. Let's uh, do it up. Mage should die here. Uh oh. Not even a crit. Uh, it's okay, we can remove those buffs. 
Next turn. Yep. Yeah, let's uh let's just attack made. I mean she's got defense break. Let's do it up! It's pretty sick animation. Nice. Mind's eye. That's another thing against Seaside Bellona. Mind's eye is triggering like constantly. It's really good. We'll just keep Seaside in here. That damn one just potion vial. It's okay. Do it. We sort of sustained this damage with the uh, bazaar. Oh, finally. Who will be the lucky uh, second target? Oh! It doesn't deal that much damage. You need to have defense break for it to really like do something, really. Uh oh. Let's go for the AoE stun. It heals for more too when you soul burn S1. Okay. Oh, the dual attack, nice. She was she wasn't going to die. I'm gonna be working on uh, building a Falconer Cleary on this uh, third account on Europe because she she's still really good and only a three star, so I can uh, skill her up with the stigmas and catalysts. So I'm gonna be working on that. I was farming the uh, the Earth runes while the buff was strong, while the buff was going. I wish I could have farmed more hunts, but had some things to do, so I didn't have quite the time, but I used some candy to actually farm earth runes, which, yeah, questionable because the runs are so so quick, but I'm like, man, the buff's gonna go away, I have to do it, and I need those earth uh, runes, so I did that. I got Violet that is a uh, 6 star. I have to build him as well. Well, gear him. The problem is always Molagoras. Always Molagoras. But still, he can definitely be viable. Okay, uh, let's go... 3. The, the thing is, Seaside still gets... Uh, huh... What if... What if I bring Seaside and replace... Seaside and... Uh, Maid? If I do that, I'm not gonna have Barrier. No, that doesn't work. I can bring Seaside for some counters. And then, what if I just bring Bazaar? <clears throat> no Fallen Cecilia. But then... Uh, mm, she, she's gonna use her thing before anyways. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, let's take out ML Ken. Put Fall on Cecilia. But then there's Crow, and Crow's gonna delete someone. Made. Okay, let's go with Made. Put her in the front. Yeah, whatever. Gotta keep Valencia. There we go. Nope, sorry. This fallen Cecilia is broken. 
barrier protecting the uh, immunity. Question is, how annoying will this ML can be? There's no revive, so I can just pick pick off these heroes one by one. Uh, Faithless Lydica is definitely uh, one I can take out fairly easily, but uh, let's start uh, with uh, this here. The spell, defense buff. Oh, ML can. Nope. He's keeping those buffs. Shouldn't hurt too much. Uh, well, there's still a little fire. Never mind. Should not do anything. Oh man, Seaside. That that dealt a lot of damage. Let's uh She she's gonna get countered. She's gonna get countered and I have to play it safe. I have to play it safe, but You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. She's got attack buff. She's got defense buff. And she doesn't have defense break on her, so it should be fine with the 30% damage with Drek. Should be fine. Not. That's it. That's it. Look at that. She gets double tapped. Terrible. Terrible. She got double tapped. And now look at this. Four turn cooldown. Four turn cooldown. My god. What have I done? Gotta wait for that now. Start by taking Crow out. He's got those debuffs before those go away. And I kind of want the sustain from uh, Angelic Momorancy. Oh man. I hope this can uh, is not going to be a problem. Just keep attacking her, at least not gonna get countered to the face. We need to get this attack buff to go away from uh, Ken. Let's just save our souls here. Sustain the team back. Uh, I could soul burn to uh, speed up the cooldown on uh, Maid S3. Uh, Okay, uh, I feel like I should just wait. Just wait it out. Okay, now I can do it. And... ML can, he's not gonna use S3 just yet. I think we're okay. We're okay here. Just keep attacking her. No, I could do it. Let's do it. Wanna apply this uh, defense buff. Maybe Durando starts proccing. Oh man, you see that? That is ridiculous, she's so overpowered. And ML can't even get attacked. Uh, I mean, I didn't get healed. It's Angelic, so now he's gonna... Is it his Iwi next? His Iwi is next, so... Yeah, anyways, keep on attacking her. That's the trick. Now, can just do that. And now I can attack him with Kill Nilla Fire. Unless he outspeeds. Oh man, I, I can just... Uh, I have, I have Mind's Eye, let's do it. Look at this. But he counters first. Ah, oh, he's gonna leech. Ah, damn you. And I didn't get the defense break. I didn't get the defense break. He's gonna AoE. How much will it leech? 
Oh, the door attack happened. It's okay, he's dead. Okay, well, looks like I can't. I I'll try to record the next one, actually. Maybe the video's too long, but we'll see. We'll see. It's good I show uh, the stats first. Okay, last battle. Maybe get a flag out of this. Now on that, I could bring Seaside still. Uh, Champion Zerato. I mean, there's not... No debuffs, really. So I could just stick with this one. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Because, I mean, ML can is just attacking May Chloe. Can sustain that damage. Well, I hope. But, if May Chloe dies, if she gets double tapped, then it's over. Look at these juicy buffs! Oh, it's going to be so good to take them off. Soon enough. Now there's the... Nice! Well, nothing. Never mind! Okay, now... Oh, well, there's no skill, no fight. I can't do it. I can't do it. If I do it now, she's just going to get popped. She's going to take so much damage. Uh, we'll just take it. We'll just do it. We're going to have defense buffs. She should survive. I don't know with how much HP, but... I hope the attack... Oh, he didn't get dispelled. He didn't get dispelled. That was terrible. Let's let's not do that again. Let's not get Seaside destroyed here. Let's just play it safe. Just play that one safe. Nice. Managed to do a crit too. Here comes my uh, Durandal. The Randall is triggering now. Yeah, I don't have too many options. I mean, gotta go Earth uh, versus Fire. Oh my god. Look at that. Now, if Trample went for ML Ken, he would have countered on a crit. And it would have been a crit too. This constant seaside cancer damage. Well... It's still too risky. I could potentially kill him, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to lower crowd just yet. I want to sort of like provoke or stun him. Uh, where he's actually okay. He's far behind, so maybe I stun him. Nope. Now let's uh, let's defense break. Oh, Angelica is wide open here. Nice. No, we got that two turn. Defense break. Oh man. She's definitely out now. Bye bye. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, we should be fine. We should be fine. He doesn't have attack buff. Uh, Ken doesn't have attack buff anymore, but he still has defense buff. Huh. Check the cooldowns here. Oh, we got S3. We can clear it. We can clean that and have defense buff on ourselves. So let's. Yeah, let's let's take out uh, Crow here. Oh, he should die. He should die here. Now let's uh, use this. Here we go. That's okay. Barely any HP left. I mean, he, I mean, he didn't leech anything. Oh God. Oh God. Maid, made no buff on Maid, but it's okay. She so somehow survived this, but it's all it's all good. They're all dead now. They're all gonna die. So 
So I got my flag. I got it. Defense break, nice. So definitely, Alencia for utilities. Alencia for utilities. That extra damage, it's okay, but it's definitely for her kit, not for the damage. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out